David Eagleman from the Department of Neurobiology and Anatomy at the University of Texas in Houston has been studying synesthesia for two years. Synesthesia is a harmless perceptual condition in which there's a blending of the senses. So for example, one might experience colors while listening to music. So one can think about this mixture of the senses, like neighboring countries on the brain's map, where there's porous borders in between the countries. There are essentially two theories about what's happening in the synesthetic brain. So in one theory, you have increased wiring between neighboring brain areas, and that causes them to talk to each other more. In the second theory, which I favor, that wiring is already there in everybody. But in the normal brain, there's a balance of inhibition and excitation that keeps these areas from talking to each other. And it appears that what happens in the synesthetic brain is that that inhibition is not working, so the wiring is actually talking. Dr. Eagleman's research is one of the first systematic studies of synesthesia. He's principally interested in how changes in people's genes alter their perceptions of the world and is studying synesthetes because their perceptions are so radically different. Today, Dr. Eagleman is exploring Sean's musical synesthesia. Sean, in this test, you're going to hear the sound of an instrument. And what I want you to do is use the color palette here to pick the color that most closely matches your synesthetic color when you hear that instrument. Dr. Eagleman is using 3D virtual technology to map the relationship between particular instrument sounds and particular colors. I know that I was experiencing it when I was five years old because I remember pulling out records because I wanted to listen to the different colors. But